Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel. So here we go then. Um, new projects for a new year. A um, couple of other little bits on the background that I need to finish off, but we're nearly there on those. If you've been watching, you'd know. So what I thought we'd do is something related to this. Two weeks at home. The perfect vacation. Jane says we should sell the house to someone with a family. Well, I don't think that it's any of Jane's business. Ah, not the house. Not at all, no. Uh, but I'm going to do something that's also iconic within the movie. And it might remind you if I showed you this. This is a real place like... Hey, look out for that! <laughs> now, what's inspired this? It was a long time ago, actually, a couple of years ago. And I was thinking about making some houses because I've been doing the doll's house sized um, diner, obviously. And I've done the Big Bang Theory, which is a 112 scale as well. And um, that's now done. And um, you see an episode for that. And so um, someone I subscribe to, and I think is an amazing creator, is Aira from Bentley House Minis. You want to watch somebody build a, a doll's house? Pff, that's where you got to be. So she's going to endeavour to move on with something to do with Beetlejuice as well. But I'll leave that with her to share that information with you. Meanwhile, I'll show you what I bought. There we go. Now look at that. That, you won't know it's a car, but it is an absolute replica of the Volvo 245 series car that was used in the movie where the Maitlands came off the bridge. And there we so you want to know what's going on? Keep tuned. Okay, you dragged it out of me. I'm going to make a diorama. Obviously, using the car, obviously. So what I'm going to make is the bridge. And that moment, just before the Maitlands plunged into the river, and it all started. So we're going to have a go at that with the bridge itself. Nice diorama, some grass, obviously, a few trees, and the car just perking th through the broken bridge before it plunged into the depths. Uh, so uh, I'll show you where I'm starting. Okay, rough piece, I said it again, okay, rough piece of scrap paper. Now, what I'm thinking is these will be the dimensions of the bridge itself, uh, before the um, cover, obviously, that's why it's called a cover bridge. So, what I've done is, I've brought it up on my screen, like so, because that's the diorama we're looking at. So that's a bit of a giveaway. Now, using the car I bought, Holding that up to the script, it's about the right size here. So what I've done is taken the measurements from the screen, the length, the width, the height, and so forth, and transferred that to that bit of paper you saw. So to make the bridge first, then I'll know how I need, I need to make the base, uh, the width, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the bridge itself, which is a wooden bridge at the time, it's now a concrete bridge, um, out of... Uh, lolly sticks so I'm going to cut those all to length which I've worked this out size wise it should be um, nine centimeters from here to here so we'll get those cut so there's enough to fill that then I've got I need to make some wooden supports obviously and then glue it all together so I need to get those cut first okay as you can see I've cut the first one level you've got to make a starting point right so now I can either take my tape measure to each one or simply hold it up against the drawing, which is why we've got one. Mark off where I need to cut. Get my trusty cutter, I love these. If you haven't got one of these, I suggest you get one because it was the best thing you ever buy. I did debate it for a while. I thought, oh, well, let's blow it. Let's just get one. And I'm so glad I did. So all that straight 90 degrees. There goes the piece. We've now got a nice straight piece, which fits on there beautifully. And I've also got 
the decorative bit, which I can, oh, I'll keep that. Because oddly, <laughs> keep everything when you're making things. And that'll make nice uh, roof tiles. Uh, should I decide to make another house at some point? So we'll get on with that. We'll see how many I need. There we go, just enough. So I'm just going to straighten these up using a bit of stick because these sticks will be used, as you can see, for the supports for the bridge. So uh, I'm going to mount those um, all on the sticks. I'll put a little bit of support underneath, obviously. And there's not going to be any actual weight on there, but um, I'll pop those on there as well. We'll get it all sorted and uh, we'll have our starting point for our bridge. I will leave them a little bit longer because I'm going to want to mount those on either side of what will be uh, the underpass with water flows. So as you can see, we've got everything lined up. These are all the ones we cut out. They're the right length, they're in the right order. Now this is going to be I'm going to, the underside of the bridge, it doesn't really matter, it's going to get painted anyway. So what we need is supports that go across here to support the, the planks obviously. <coughs> Leaving them a little longer as I said. So what I think the most straightforward thing to do is, I'll leave this as it is and then I'll just glue that on there and do the same for that side. And uh, when that's dry it'll just be a solid piece. So I think this piece is about the right size that I've got here. So I'll just measure this up, mark it off, and then cut it off. And we'll get those attached, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm trying to do this properly. So, oops, <laughs> he says knocking the camera. So I'm using this um, Gorilla wood glue as we've got wood to be glued let's get the other one done okay super so there it is those cross beams are now on the woods being glued together it's almost dry now, I don't suppose it would matter which way round I put this, because I'm going to have to sand this flat anyway, on both sides. Um, so I could leave it this way round in actual fact, which would give me more to attach the uprights to for the sides of the uh, cover. I mean, I could turn it over. Same sort of idea, really, though I haven't decided yet. But as you can see, I've left these longer. So I said they're going to have to sit on some supports that span over the actual bridge itself. So off to a good start. I think what I might do, uh, once I get it sanded out, I'll get, I'll get it um, painted up. <laughs> it's not a rainbow bridge anymore. And because uh, when I build the uh, cover over, obviously it's gonna be very difficult to do that. So there you go, just got a small fire. And it's gonna very lightly sand this level. I mean, don't go mad, obviously, as long as it's a nice flat surface, so we've got something to attach to. Best to do it now, you won't be able to do it when it's on the model. So they're almost there, so it's not got to be perfect, as long as there's no bit sticking out to the sides along here, where the rest of the um, cover is going to be, that's fine. <clears throat> so let's get, I'll give it a little bit more sanding and then what we'll do is we'll get on we're giving it a coat of paint I'm not going to go too mad because again it's it's hardly going to be seen at all so I might just uh, put a nice brown acrylic paint on there for the old um, weathered wood okay just a 
a little more information I've noticed as I'm looking at the reference pictures because um, this is our main reference picture here uh, I've noticed that uh, the support beams underneath the bridge are a lot thicker than what I've used now they're hardly going to be seen but it bothers me as you would probably guess so I think what I might do is add some um, wood to that to make it or give it the impression of uh, being the correct thickness for the rest of the diorama so I'll, I will look at it and um, I'll work it out as we go along but I just sort of had to share that as I'd noticed it myself oh thanks Bill how's the model coming oh it's great Bill. and yes you've guessed it it's driving me potty um, I'm gonna have to put some extra wood on there uh, now I will apologize for these shadows da -da -da. Because it's now got dark. Believe it or not, I'm still in front of the same, what was, a sunny window. So I'm going to measure some more of these sticks up, um, which will be good as in real life. Obviously, we'll double the width of that, just because it'll make me feel better. And it should look better, please so I'll get on with that. And um, we'll get back to it and see you in a bit. So there we are, it's done. <laughs> it would drive me potty forever if I ignored it and put it on the diorama and I'd be looking at it forever going oh why didn't I just do that so <clears throat> we've done exactly that I've doubled up on the wood I'm much happier now much more resembles what was on the uh, reference picture so that's all dried out now nice and sturdy nice and solid nice clean finish underneath still got to paint it so I think uh, we'll do that next and then I've started looking at and all the details of supports etc so we'll do that right so that's all nice and dry glue wise so my theory is I'm going to use this some burnt umber I'm going to try and make it into a, a wash I don't know if you can see that the camera's not very happy with that anyway it's burnt umber <clears throat> so I'm going to pop it into one of these shot glasses oops there we go. just a little bit I mean, I may, may end up have to, have to paint this anyway. <coughs> That's that. Add some water to that. Um, now, I, I know that um, it could soak in very much so, which is a good thing. I'm hoping <coughs> that different colour um, lolly sticks that we've used. Um, We'll give it a real nice variation. So, let's have a quick splosh over and see. I'm end up with. I'm aware also aware that uh, it will most likely need more than one coat. But who knows? It's just got to look like weathered wood, really. Was weathered wood wood? Hmm. Yeah, it was a attempt at a really bad joke. But it was really bad, so hey, succeeded. Hmm. That's what birds do, another bad joke. Succeed. Hmm. I need to do this side as well. <coughs> I'm quite uh, convinced that this one will just be fine because it was just plain old uh, pine wood before that and of course the other side was a dark colour anyway we'll give it a coat it doesn't need to be perfect we we'll wait for that <coughs> to soak in and then we'll get the insides done otherwise I'll be wearing this all night for now and we'll come back and do another coat and see what we've got okay it's about 20 minutes later we're about to give the second coat I am being quite liberal with this because I want it to soak into the water not enough to saturate and warp it, so to speak, because that would be bad. 
but enough to darken it. Oh, I might do in actual fact. Let's break out the heat gun. Let's see if we can speed things up a little bit. Yes, I think we'll do that. Right then. Well, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll put the heat gun on it, but um, I want to make sure it's thoroughly dry through before I put any more on it. It's going to saturate the wooden spoiler, it's anyway, it can warp. Um, so what I thought I'd do, while we're waiting, for all of those of you who do watch my videos, and I really do appreciate it, to all my subscribers, thank you very much. If you just do me one small favour, if you've watched a video that you like, please do hit the like button. Share it with your social media if you want to, so other people can enjoy me making a fool of myself. <laughs> As I always do, go out with all this drivel, really helps me out, guys, and really appreciate that. Anyway, that's enough of that drivel, like I said. Moving on with the build. Okay. Dry again. Dry again. Try again. This is coat three. And I think, hopefully, this will be sufficient to get the colour right, as I say. Under the bridge, you won't see this anyway, but uh, again, little detail that bothers me. I think it probably bothers some of you as well if I don't do it. But, uh, we'll see. Might need one more. We'll give it a go. Okay, well, I think we're just about there. I actually quite like the fact there's gaps here. It's like an old bridge anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint uh, the other side of Rainbow Bridge, I'm going to call it. But um, there's no need for any wash or anything, so I'm probably just going to paint it with neat um, acrylic paint and hopefully get the darker underside that we would get because it's been uh, subject to all the wet and damp from the river itself and would have darkened anyway. And now while we're waiting for that to dry, here's a question for you. All the creators will already know the answer to this. Why is it creators always end up wearing most of what they're actually using? True that. True that. So there we are then, nice and dry. It's looking amazing. Looks amazing underneath as well. Looks like, well, I'd, I'd hope it would. Give you an idea, brought the car. She's going to be trundling along for that. I think that's absolutely spot on on the size front. So hopefully I've got the measurements right and it'll look right. But it's hanging out the side of the bridge. So now we really can see where we're going with this. And hopefully the rest of it will turn out fine. Right, next section. Now we've got that, that bit done and I'm satisfied with the way it looks. I've got to look at now supports to where the bridge is going to be seated above the flowing river um, before I even start the uh, surrounding diorama. Um, I don't think I'm going to add any of these houses in here. I most likely won't because um, from the angle that um, I'm looking at you won't see that. <coughs> so my... Um, Priority at the moment, uh, as we see the cars plunging into the river just before with broken pieces here. There's a bit of a fence here, I will put that in. But it looks to me like the support, um, presumably on both sides, are these concrete supports. Which is quite nice because I haven't got to uh, work out any kind of banking, so I will build 
what looks like concrete supports and uh, space them apart get them positioned on uh, a platform of sorts so then um, at least I have a really good idea of how big I need the whole platform to be for the rest of the diorama right then before we go any further I am very conscious conscience right then before we go any further I'm very conscious of the fact we're into a 20 minute video already and all we've made is this this being an important part for our little diorama car I think we're going to leave it here for this time and we'll carry on next time things take longer than you think don't they mm. thanks for watching thanks for subscribing don't forget hit the like button share on your social media and smash that thumbs up really appreciate that where'd you go hey come on hey where'd you go oh hey come on you gotta work with me here i'm just trying to cut a deal what do you want me to do thank you take care we'll see you on the next one